Hi everyone, welcome back to the Case Guard Studio training course. In today's video, we will cover AI automatic video redaction in bulk. To begin, we can select bulk redaction from the Get Started window. From the Operation drop down menu, select Redact Video slash Image. Now, you can select the video files you would like to redact in bulk. I'm going to select five videos, but please note that there is absolutely no limit to the number of files you can run through bulk processing. You can run two files or 2,000 files. When selecting your video files, try and select files that need the same object removed from the file. For example, all of the files that I have selected need heads and screens redacted. This allows me to run both face detection as well as screen detection in one operation. Let me show you. Click on Detection Settings. You will see the AI Automatic Detection window appear. From here, select the objects that you want CaseGuard to redact from your files. I'm going to select Faces and Heads, as well as Screens. Click Next. Now, we select the shape and effect we want to apply to Faces and Heads. For the shape, I'll stick with an ellipse shape. And for the effect, I'll select a blur effect. I can also add a redaction reason here. Click Next. I'm going to do the same thing for screens. For the shape, I'll stick with the rectangle shape. And for the effect, we can do a pixelate effect. I'll add a different redaction reason here. Click Next. If you need to keep everyone redacted, uncheck the Classify Results checkbox. This will make detection run faster. Otherwise, if you need to unredact specific faces or screens later, keep the checkbox checked. Since I want all screens and all faces redacted from my file, I'm going to uncheck Classify Results. You can schedule your bulk operation to run at a designated time. This is useful if you have many videos that need to be redacted but limited computer resources. You can schedule the bulk redaction to run when you leave for the evening. That way, when you return to your computer, your files will have been processed. I'm not going to schedule it for this example. When you're ready, click Apply. Now, I have my files and redaction objects selected. We can select which project we would like to place our files in. I can choose an existing project or create a new project. I will create a new project and call it Bulk Video Redaction. The last thing I want to mention is this Export After Detection checkbox. If this checkbox is checked, CaseGuard will also export the redacted file for me. This is a really useful tool if you do not need to unredact any of your objects or make any edits to your file. Checking this checkbox will result in my project having a total of 10 files rather than 5. Now, I'm going to run Bulk Video Redaction. Click Start. It's done. Let's open our bulk video redaction project and take a look at the files. You can see that after each file, I have the corresponding redacted file. I can always make additional edits to my original video and export again. Our new video will be titled Classroom underscore redacted underscore one. That's all I have for you today. In the following video, I will cover bulk AI audio redaction. See you there.